Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. As you can tell, brand new setup, brand new way of doing things. It's looking good, it's looking exciting. YouTube doesn't seem to want to let me post anything right now. I was uploading something else and it's kind of like, nope. So if this video doesn't get out today, I'm very, very sorry. Um, I will make sure they all, I'll just upload them all tomorrow um, as I have the ability to do so. But gonna keep on preaching, gonna keep moving forward. And we're coming at you with uh, 1 Samuel 16, going back into my daily readings of the scripture. And this is one more of those kind of popular verses you hear in the churches, something else you hear quite a bit about. And for very good reason. Let's go to verse 6. 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 6. So, set up for the story, Samuel, he is going to the house of Jesse, from whom we get David. And he's there to anoint the new king. So it was, when they came, that he looked at Eliab and said, Surely the Lord's anointed is before him. I guess an impressive-looking dude. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look at his appearance or at his physical stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord does not see as man sees. For man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. If you go back and you look at Saul, who had been um, chosen as king previously to this, he was taller than everyone else, he was better looking than everyone else. Maybe Samuel just thought, okay, the next guy I find is going to be equally just physically stunning. And the Lord's like, no, that's, that's not the deal. The deal is, I'm going to find someone who loves me, who wants me, whose heart is after me. That's what I desire. That's what I'm going for. So, yeah, that's... um. And also, you go into the New Testament... And Paul says we don't judge each other after the flesh anymore, we judge each other by the Spirit. So we don't judge by what we see someone look like. Sometimes not even the problems that we see in their life. We judge on what the Lord sees and what the Lord tells us. And we, of course, can judge based on who they are as a person, but not just based on a physical appearance. Because it's not always the cool kids that are cool with God. It's not always the church kids that are cool with God either. Judging my appearance is nothing but a mistake. In order to properly judge, and there is a time to properly judge, judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. That's in the Gospel of John. We are, contrary to some popular Christian teaching, we're actually commanded to judge, but it must be righteous, and it must be after the Spirit and not after the flesh. Those are great topics for, guess what, another sermon another time. So, but that is the daily dose of the word for you here today. Thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.